Um, whew, that's hard. Um, the one, I think that the, as the scriptures talk about when it says the daughters of Zion are haughty, um, we think we probably know more. I think that's probably been a, like the biggest obstacle. You think you know more about yourself. You think you know more about what you need, want, or just, be, you know, you think you know more than what you do. So I would think like the first thing is always, always, always going to be like humility. You got to be willing to let yourself be uh, like molded. You have to be willing to let yourself hear about what you, who you are, what you are. Um, so you can change because you know the first thing about making a change is you got to know that you have a problem and If you don't know you have a problem you can't change the problem You can't fix a problem that you don't really know you have or you don't really believe that you have So you got to allow yourself to be humble and uh, teachable So I, I would say that that would be good if you have a teachable spirit and you're humble about it You you'll be able to make quicker changes um, You got to be willing to you know Really, whoever you're married to, you really got to trust them. Um, trust the person that you're married to. Um, believe that, you know, he's following y'all. You know, you make those sort of decisions because God's going to lead him in a, a path to do something. And you got to be willing to be on board to follow his instructions and be that help me for him. And it, there's sometimes there are roller coasters. There's different things that change. There's things that you may not be used to. But if you trust that the man that you were with is a man of Yah then you should be able to follow in his footsteps and, and prepare to do his vision, no matter what it is. So whether you, you know, you're in the city, you're used to this, and then there's a change, you should be able to go with him and say, you know, I'm standing with you to do that. So I think that that's a big thing. Lastly, you got to just prepare yourself to be able to be uncomfortable. Like, I think people get too involved into, um, they think like marriage and even just walking this faith is should be just easy piece of cake like everything startled them i think one of the hardest thing with people is we have been christianized so and this is a homesteading slash even marriage it's both because it all helps and pertains to holiness to me or at least in my aspect in my life it has um because we're christianized you think when any little thing go wrong you are moved like from off, it takes you off the vision, off the mission very easily. It's like one conflict, you're like, oh my gosh, ah, you can't handle anything. And, and then you get put in a position like, so when hard times come or when a real struggle really comes, how are you going to get through that struggle? We really need to come together on understanding our Hebrew culture as Israel. We've all been tainted by the world and what the world has taught us on every different subject and every different aspect of our life. But we, as women of Israel, have to come together under the men of authority's leadership to really truly understand our culture, our heritage, how we should carry ourselves. And all of that comes from the leading and guiding of the men. They present it to us, we present it to you. And that's how we expect for it to be carried out. We don't want our children to have to experience the same hurts, pains, troubles in life and all of these things that we have experienced so we have to raise up a new pure generation that is not tainted by the world so in establishing our culture sometimes it may not be what you're used to what you're well that's not my personality or my character well you better get into that character because it's Yah's character because it comes from the book and he has a specific way that he wants us to be as women and a way that he wants us to carry ourselves and sometimes we use our personalities we use our mannerisms as ways to not be what the father would have us to be well that's just not me well the me is the me that is prescribed in the book so we're going to try to come everything from scripture that we can but give you also some of the things that the men of Yah have established for us to do as women it may be total contrary to what you're taught we're taught out there in the world to be strong, to be tough, to be independent, and you are all of those things as women. But you're also meek, quiet, lowly, humble, all of those things, and that's really what shows and establishes your strength. You may not realize it, but that is truly what the Father is giving you. That's stronger than being able to pop off at the mouth. It takes more strength and more self-control to keep your mouth, to keep yourself, to keep from being sarcastic or a hypocrite or popping off at your sister or smart mouthing your husband, okay?